Something's cooking inside Samsung's labs, and it's moving quicker than anyone expected. While users are still tapping their feet waiting on One UI 7, Samsung has already hit the gas on One UI 8, and it's looking like the real upgrade story of 2025. Beta features are already being teased, and if you're not paying attention, you might miss the most refined UI rollout we've seen in years. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. If you're into sleek upgrades, juicy UI tweaks, and everything Samsung doesn't officially say, you're in the right place. Like the video, subscribe, and let's geek out together. Here's the scoop. Samsung is quietly prepping the One UI 8 beta program in the background. If you check your Samsung members app, you might spot a new beta tab. Not active yet, but flashing attempting check back again soon message. That's Samsung speak for we're almost live. Even cooler, no more force closing the app to check. You can now just pull down to refresh. Finally, they're also revamping the entire beta experience. Signing up now takes two simple steps in roll and install. That's it. And if you want to bail out later, it's never been easier. Just opt out, no drama, no multiple device madness. Samsung's introduced a new beta program home. Your go to hub for all things test related. Even when no beta is active, this section stays live. It's clean, organized, and feels way more modern. The updated banner design is a visual upgrade to sharper icons, vibrant colors, and hints at the UI changes coming in the final release. Now, let's talk One UI 8 Beta 2 on the Galaxy 25 Ultra. First thing I noticed, widget sizes are back to normal. In Beta 1, they were comically large, but now they've snapped back to the polished dimensions we know from the stable version. Next, haptic feedback. Tap a live notification now, and you'll feel it, a longer, more deliberate vibration that actually feels intentional. In Beta 1, it was barely a buzz. The quick settings panel also got a facelift. The brightness slider and device media controls now look chunkier and more prominent, and that's not a bad thing. It's easier to control, especially one-handed. Now for something slick, share sheet animations. When you select multiple images to share, you'll notice a new animation that gathers them smoothly from the sides. It's subtle but buttery. Even apps like Google Photos have this upgraded behavior. Plus, clearer outlines and dividers now make everything look cleaner and easier to use. Inside the settings, the user guide is now called Tips and User Guide. And instead of a browser link, it opens a full app with banners highlighting Galaxy AI. Everything's laid out neatly, and there's even a section to directly give feedback in the beta community. Samsung Bud settings now show up right away when connected. No need to dig into the Galaxy wearable app. That's a quality of life win. Dex got some UI polish too. While functionality hasn't changed, the settings layout looks more organized, especially under connected devices. Feels like Samsung is cleaning house and we're here for it. Now let's talk animations. One UI 8 has slightly slower app opening animations compared to One UI 7, not laggy, just smoother. It gives apps a bit more breathing room when launching, and it's more noticeable in the corner transitions. And by the way, if you're vibing with the wallpapers in this video, they're from the Wallpapers by In Depth Tech Reviews app. And yes, the link's in the description. You'll be able to apply them with local effects soon, right from your Galaxy. All right, back to Beta 2. Most of the heavy lifting here is under the hood. Bug fixes go including text alignment issues in, now brief, Glitchy widget sizes, fingerprint errors, secure folder hiccups, Bluetooth call volume drops, and even a weird bug where your alarm wouldn't ring if the clock app wasn't updated. Samsung's clearly tightening every loose bolt. There's also better Galaxy AI integration, fixed gesture nav issues, smoother air command with the S Pen, and improvements to app stability, especially the camera. The update size around 1.2 GB, not too big but packed. Performance-wise, Beta 2 feels much more stable than Beta 1. No lag, no crashes while filming, and Geekbench scores clocked in at 9300 multi-core and 2900 single-core, nearly identical to the stable February 2025 release. Yeah. Battery life, still testing, but it's holding up so far. Now, the golden question, which devices will get one young UI 8? While Samsung hasn't dropped an official list yet, based on their update policy, we can make some solid predictions. Expect the S25, and S21 FE plus all the recent Z Fold and Flip models. The Tabs 10S9 and A9 line should also make the cut, along with Galaxy A, FM, and even including models like A55, MF5, MF4, FF56, and more. And yet, One UI 8 isn't a radical redesign, it's more about polishing the foundation laid by One UI 7. But that polish, it's showing in every swipe, tap, and animation. We might see the official rollout begin as early as late July or early August, which is way earlier than Samsung's usual timeline. If you're waiting for the stable version, your wait might not be much longer. So, what's your take on One UI 8 so far? Excited? Disappointed? Still holding out for Android 17 teasers? Drop your thoughts below and let's chat. Catch you in the next one. And until then, keep those updates rolling and your Galaxy glowing.